work, 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 work. What's up guys, it's Fab here, and as you saw from the preview, today I'm going to be showing you how to do the reverse swoosh effect in Sony Vegas. Before I start, I'm just going to say this is not as good as After Effects, because um, in After Effects it's just like the proper way to do it, but in Sony Vegas there is this way of doing it, which I think looks good as well, it looks nice and clean, and it's really easy to do. All you need for this is magic bullet looks. There are other ways of doing it, but I, in my opinion, this is the easiest way and the best way to do it. So you need magic bullet looks, and I will put a link in the description to a video of how to get it. It's really easy to get it and install it for Vegas or, Af or After Effects. Right, so getting into this. Here I've just pre-rendered a little video of uh, just with music on and a sync, so it makes it quicker. So. Work, 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 work. So I just added a bit of twigs there just so it makes the tutorial quicker. Just, you know, you can do that easily. Right. So, if you don't know how to make the reverse swoosh sound, which probably most of you do because most of my subs are editors, um, you just all you need to do is drag on an intervention sound like this, just a normal one, and then simply just right click on it and hit reverse and that will turn it into this. And you just put that before your shot and that is the sound that we're going to be using. So right, first of all, you're going to want to go to your video effects and go to Magic Bullet Looks, drag that on to your clip and add your color correction. Most of you probably know how to use this but if you don't on your left is all your color corrections of what you download on your right are the effects and uh, subheadings on the bottom are your subheadings as well and here's your clip in the middle so I am going to add on the color correction if I can find it Here it is. So once you've added on your color correction, just click finished. And on this bit, this might lag a bit now because I've got the uh, magic bullet looks on, but I'll explain everything. Now, you want to find the bit where you're going to put your reverse swoosh. So it's where I've got my intervention sound backwards. Right, starting here. So once you've got it over the spot, just leave that there and go onto your clip to event effects and click that. Now it's come up with your magic bullet looks box and all you need to do is go down to where it says animate at the bottom click that don't move this because it's on the spot where you want it to start and all you need to do is go down to this plus add your first keyframe and using these arrows go ahead to the bit where you're going to want your reverse swoosh to stop which is where on in this case where the shot is fired so that is yeah we'll just do it there okay so add another keyframe and now you're going to go want to go ahead another few keyframes <coughs> sorry and add one more so now you've got your three keyframes, what you want to do is go onto your first one <coughs> and go up to edit. Now it'll bring you back onto Magic Bullet Looks. All you got to do is just go to the right and go to Lens on the little subheadings and find Lens Distortion which is at the bottom for me and drag this on to the little thing that says Lens. Now straight away you'll see that that's popping it out, you don't want that. So just go onto the right hand side where it says distortion, double click on that, type in zero, hit enter, and that has put it, the starting point is set for you right there. So now go to your second keyframe you put, go back onto the magic bullet looks, 
and you're going to need to drag on lens distortion again back onto lens this time on distortion use the slider to choose where you want that's the maximum and obviously that does not look good well not in my opinion it doesn't look smooth so I'm going to do it to there which is minus 62 percent so you got your that now click finish and now as you'll notice between the first one and the second one this is where the reverse swoosh is happening so your third one now is just to finish it off click on your third one and on your third one just go back on to edit drag on lens distortion onto lens and just put that at zero and click finish and you are done so now if that was hard to follow just go back and watch it you will get it easily once you get the hang of animating things you should know how to do that so I will preview this out for you <coughs> really, really quick so you can see what it looks like it's not going to be perfect obviously but it's I think it's pretty good and it's pretty easy I just want to say I'm going to be doing a lot more tutorials soon and I really really want you to tell me what you want me to do because I don't really get that many people asking me to do tutorials I get inboxes asking me but I don't get comments so just let me know what you want me to do and I will actually do it because I like doing these and they're really easy to do right so once you've done all that this is what it should look like and as you'll see that is quite smooth obviously it's not it doesn't go in as far as after effects but it actually does look really good and that was a quick little simple tutorial on how to do that effect please give it a go and leave a video response of what your edit is like so I can have a look at it but yeah if you like the video leave a thumbs up and like I said if you've got any uh, suggestions on tutorials I can do then leave a comment thanks for watching the video see you later